Hi everyone, Gruntle here and this is my guide to legendary and unique weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This episode we're looking at the Berrigan, or Berrigan, I'm not exactly sure how to say that name, but it is a legendary launcher manufactured by Vladoff and part of the Holodome DLC. This is a possible reward for the badass round of the Holodome Onslaught, um, so if you do that a couple of times you should be able to get this weapon. Um, now if we have a look at it here, it looks like a general Vladoff launcher. It's got a green skin with a bit of a skull at the front there, so it looks kind of cool. Um, the name and red text, and also the color, are all as a tribute to a close friend called John Berrigan, a close friend of a level artist um, for the DLC, who actually passed away during the making of the DLC. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing that one of the guys making it um, had a tribute to his good friend. Um, apparently he wanted to make uh, one of the best guns in the game or name one of the best guns in the game after his friend because his friend loved to be a one-upper on everyone saying he had the best gun hence the red text here, your gun is good but mine is better and yeah and also green is one of his favourite colours apparently so that is why it is green and anyway if we look at the parts here uh, we have the barrel now the barrel here is always going to be Vladov, and that gives you increased fire rate and increased missile speed, so that is kind of cool. Next up I put a Molowan grip on it here, and I've done that so that the elemental versions, here we've got the shock, uh, cryo, incendiary and corrosive versions, just so that they have the increased elemental chance from the Molowan grip. However, you could possibly put on a Torg grip for extra damage or a Vladoff grip if you want the extra fire rate, something like that. Um, there are, all of the grips would probably work with this weapon because it is pretty overpowered anyway. Next up is the exhaust and we have the Torg exhaust on here and that is giving the increased weapon damage for this gun. It does decrease the fire rate though. However, with the increased fire rate from the um, the barrel here, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Next up is the sight, and it is just here. It is the Torg sight, and that is giving increased accuracy. Um, and lastly, we've got the attachment here. And it's the bit right up there, and I've put on the weapon swap, the minus 60% weapon put down time. So it's increasing your weapon swap speed. Um, you could put an accuracy attachment or have an accuracy attachment on it. I'm not sure what the uh, prefix for that would be but this is Moskovitz for the um, weapon swap speed. But yeah you could uh, have a attachment that increases the accuracy of the weapon because as you can see here the accuracy is not that great. And we can compare that with the purple version, same parts of a Vladoff launcher. And um, you'll notice that the, the base damage of the purple is actually higher than the base damage of the Berrigan. However, it does have a time six here, so it's going to shoot out six, um, six launch uh, blah, 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 things. They are called rockets, that's the word. It's gonna shoot out six rockets, each with uh, 98,000 damage. So overall, it's going to be about 600,000 damage compared to uh, 200,000 damage of the purple version. Um, so it will have a lot more damage if you get all of those to hit. Um, accuracy as I said was decreased um, but it does have a bunch of different rockets so you're more than likely to actually hit your target with at least one of those if you're aiming in the general direction. The fire rate on the Berrigan is pretty massive and that's because of the um, six shots coming off. Basically it does three shots of two rockets in quite quick succession. Reload speed is very same very similar sorry and the magazine size is slightly decreased but it only uses one ammo per six rockets so that is quite useful I'll be using it in the explosive damage because I'm using claptrap at the moment and we'll be doing that in the, um, the little testing bit as well um, so he gets the increased damage from explosive damage stuff as I've specced them up that way however I reckon this would be probably pretty good with every character I'll show you right now how it fires so it did one two three shots 
and it put out six rockets. I'll see if I can... Yeah, so you should be able to see the six rockets there. Maybe I can get six hits on this wall. No, it's not going to show up. Yes, the reload speed isn't too bad, and the fire rate, if I'm clicking as fast as possible, is pretty good considering that it has six rockets come out. And as I was saying, the characters, I reckon, um, would work for all of them. Claptrap has his explosive buffs. Nisha has the tombstone skill, so she could get critical hits off this, which would just make it insane. Um, uh, Aurelia, there is a, a cryo version here, and she could get buffs on that one. Or um, Athena gets the incendiary or shock buffs. Wilhelm, it's just a very powerful launcher, so Wilhelm will do well with it. And Jack would probably do well because of his decreased ammo usage, and he could do a lot more shots with the same weapon than some other characters and get a heap of damage off. So yes, we're going to jump over to the gameplay using this weapon with Claptrap, as I said, and that will be in Overlook. So yes, I will jump to that, and I'll tell you what I think of the weapon as we're going through that. Don't know why I span. Maybe I was going for a transition. Whew. And we're here in Overlook, taking out these first guys with the explosive barrigan, and it is working very well. I'll try and clump them up with a um, singularity grenade there, and get a lot of them at once, which works very well. However, I do catch some damage there, go into fight for my life mode. Um, the good thing about that is this weapon is great for getting out of fight for my life mode because of the amount of rockets that come out and that just is, makes it very easy to hit a target with at least one of the rockets and they have high enough damage to kill a target a weak target pretty quickly so that is great by the way i've left a link in the description to the wiki page for the weapon if you'd like to read more about it there's also a link in that to the level designer's blurb about why he put this weapon in the game, a little bit about John Berrigan, um, and the level de designer seems like a cool friend to put this in the game. I think it's really awesome. Um, there's not much else to say about this weapon except for it is pretty badass, and I would like to use it in my gameplay. Um, it's quite overpowered, and especially being in all four elements and explosive damage, it makes it quite useful. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.